Hi and hello. A few weeks ago, Microsoft introduced a new feature to deploy custom image with Secure Boot in your environment, and that can be used for Azure Virtual Desktop. I prepared my solution, WD Admin and Hydra, I guess a few days later, to yeah, to capture images and deploy this cap uh, this custom images as with Secure Boot as a session host to AVD. I get a lot of question. Um, can you make a video? And yes, I can, and I'm happy to do it today. So let me show you how to prepare a golden master, capture a custom image, and deploy it later as session host with Secure Boot enabled to your environment. So what I what I have prepared, I prepared a Windows 11 template virtual machine, my golden master. It's in Windows 11 with Office 365 or the Microsoft apps installed. That is from the marketplace, from the gallery. And important is that Windows 11, or if you use Windows 10, that you deploy it as an Hyper-V Generation 2, as in Gen 2 virtual machine. That is important later. So I already deployed a normal virtual machine with Windows 11 or 365 multi-session as a normal virtual machine uh, into one of my uh, virtual networks and I'm also connected. So let me open the connection. So that is my Windows 11, my gold master. And you can see I already installed a few application and let me install one or two application more to show it better that we have later the custom installation, the custom application inside of our gold master and that is deployed as a session host later. So uh, let me use for that Ninight. I often use that to show um, a simple installation of some application. Set me, let me select Chrome. Notepad++ is already installed. I think that is okay. Maybe file Scylla. And then click on get your Ninight. I run the executable and then the application, my test application are installed. Meanwhile, I can close the browser. And we can see a little bit more what happens. So Chrome is installing. FileZilla is prepared for installation. Give it a few seconds. So the installation is done. Finally, let me shut down the virtual machine inside of Windows to make sure that everything is, is completely and nicely shut it down. So that will run. And then let me go back to my desktop. So what I love to use is um, my solution WD Admin, which is able to capture an image from a golden master without destroying the golden master. And that is what I really like. So I can reuse my golden master in one or two weeks, do some Windows updates or application updates, and then capture the golden master again and deploy a new session host. So I do that if I go to the Azure node virtual machines. My gold master is in WD templates. And here is my virtual machine. And that is pretty easy. Right click, create a template image, select the target resource group. I want to have the image in the same resource group and give it a good name. Test today. A, for example, and then click on Capture. This will take around three to five minutes. And after that, the image is ready and the gold master survived. So let it run for a while. So great, our image is now ready and we would be able to deploy it as a session host into a host pool but not with Secure Boot right now. So what we have to do before we are able to deploy our new created image, as a Secure Boot session host 
into a host pool, we have to do one manual step in the Azure portal first, only one time. So open the Azure portal, create an Azure Compute Gallery or open an existing Azure Compute Gallery and in the Azure Compute Gallery, create a VM image definition. This is also good later to deploy an image across regions or across subscriptions. So I want to have my image definition in West Europe. I give it I give it a name, secure, secure boot I define it's a Windows image it's a Gen 2 that is important it's generalized and the security type security type and that is a hack that is trusted launch publisher give it any name even for offer and SKU and then we are fine and click review and create. Take a few seconds to validate, click create again, and then an image definition is created in my Azure Compute Gallery. An image definition is like a container where you could put in different versions of an image to deploy it later. And the step is important, while you can only deploy a session host with Secure Boot enabled, if you are deploying from a, from a compute gallery or the other name Shared Image Gallery. So that is done. Let me go back to WD Admin. I click on Refresh Azure so that WD Admin knows uh, that um, the Shared Image Definition or the new Image Definition is there. That looks good. And then I click on my native image, test today A, right click, and then copy to shared image gallery. And important is then to select our new secure boot, ah, including a typo. But this is an image definition with secure boot enabled. Give it a version number. 100 is fine for me and then define where you want to use the image. I want to go for West Europe and if you hold the control key you can add more than one location. That is then important if you want to deploy the same image in different locations or different regions. So West Europe is now fine for me. Click on OK and that will takes, takes a while unfortunately to copy the image, the native image into the Azure Compute Gallery in our image definition, which is created with the option Trusted Launch. So let us wait again. So great. Now our image is part of our image gallery definition. So to roll out this image as a session host, we can go to the image galleries. There's my secure boot image definition with the image. Right click, create a session host from gallery image. I give it a name, AVD secure 5, and then the hashes are for the appending numbers. I want to have three. Reselect it in our host pool. Canada for this example in the subnet WBD West Europe the session host should be or the virtual machine should be deployed in WBD WBD design 2 this size is premium and I go for uh, D4 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 S3 and then it's important to to tick the checkbox secure boot and then click on start rollout 
WD Admin starts now to build three new session hosts, or virtual machine, and later join it into the host pool as session hosts. And meanwhile, let us check what we can see in the Azure portal. Virtual machine. And visible, refresh again. Come on, I want to see the session host, the virtual machines. Refresh. ABD minus secure. Sometimes it takes a while in the Azure portal to see fresh generated new resources. Yeah. Now we can see the new session host, um, virtual machine, a later session host, CQ501, 02, and 03. And let me select one. And then we should see that this session host, this virtual machine, is rolled out with trusted launch. So that is great. So later we will have three new session hosts in our host pool. Seek your boot enabled, trusted launch, all in, based on my custom in image. Windows 11, Microsoft 365 apps, Chrome, FileZilla, and Notepad++ Notepad++ was also installed before. So. We could give it a while or meanwhile I can show you how you could deploy the same gallery image definition with a Hydra that is the same thing. Let me go the same host pool, host pool Canada, configuration, new session host rollout that has an another naming schema but that is okay for now and the image is then images gallery images and then secure boot that is version 100 which we have created a minute ago or i can select always in use version from the image definition so i think that is fine and i and here also don't forget to click to tick enable security boot enable secure boot Click on save. And then we can go back and I can create another session host or another three session host with the other naming schema, but the same image and also seek your boot enabled. You can also create an image and automatically copy the image into the image gallery definition with Hydra. That is what you can do here in the image builder. And that works really similar like WD admin works. So AVD can 101, 102 and 103. Same check. Yeah, it's creating. Generation B2, trusted launch, secure boot enabled, so that works also. So then let us wait for the session host to become ready. And at the end, we should see fix new session hosts with secure boot enabled based on our custom image including the application we installed on our Golden Master. And let me repeat it again. The Golden Master survived while WD Admin or Hydra makes a copy first before it do all the sysprep stuff. And so, which normally breaks a virtual machine in Azure. And the, 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 the sysprep stuff is done with a copied virtual machine, which is delete, deleted after um, the image creation process. What is fine, but our original VM still exists 
and is still um, startable and can be reused for the next Windows or application updates. So let us wait for the virtual machines and session hosts to become available. Now we can see the session host from WB Admin are visible as session host in the host pool. We can see it in the background. And also the session host deployed from Hydra, the AVD CAN 103. Ah, looks like it is close to be ready as well. So let me open the remote desktop, the Azure Virtual Desktop Agent, and try to start a session on our new deployed session host. So there's that host pool. Let us try if it works right now. And if the session hosts are really available, looks good. And what I expect to see for sure is Chrome, Filezilla, and the other application we deployed in our Golden Master before. Yeah, great. What we can see are our application, Falzilla, Chrome. So all what we have put in in our Golden Master and which then is in our image, copied to the shared image gallery definition or Azure Compute gallery definition and then deployed as a session host with CQ boot enabled. So thanks a lot. If you have questions, feel free to contact me. Bye.